Yeah, I promise y'all, this, this, this thing won't let me be great, but we gonna get it together, yo. some issues since before the show got started my whole system just shut down i had to run to the breaker try to get that situated and next thing you know the stream want to start acting up you know somebody up down below i ain't gonna say upstairs because down below somebody down below don't want me to be great but we finally got our guest of the evening on the line hailing all the way from charleston south carolina well let me specify i think that's somerville south carolina and if you know anything about me oh all right then you should know that i got family down there in south carolina and i'm also a fort dorchester alumni shout out to the class of 2001 yes 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 we are gonna get that that uh that uh school reunion on point i know i said i was supposed to do it last year but y'all know covid hit and with covid hit it i started to, to, to start my radio station so we gonna work through it we gonna have that high school reunion but moving right along with our show let's get our guest of the evening up on the screen yes. mr j boone are you with me i'm here <laughs> Are you there, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you yes. loud and clear. <laughs> I just want to make sure I got the headphones in. How are you doing? <laughs> it's an honor to have you on the show with us. So I was kind of worried that you wasn't going to make it. Oh, no, no, no. I was definitely making this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good deal. Good deal. So, yeah, let's get this show started with some questions. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right, bet. So, Basically, I want to know what well, the listeners want to know because I already know about you. I heard your music. I love yes. uh, Lost. That's your latest EP, right? Uh, yes, that's my uh, and, single. Yeah. Single, and, yeah. The, and the other one, um, Let Go? Uh, yes. Let Go, yes. It's a track I did a few years ago. Oh. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking to re record it soon. Drop the BMIs for it just so I can get it out there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, do your thing, cause when when I first heard it, I was just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah, that song gave me some feelings. It's it made song. me feel some type of way towards a certain somebody. I was just like, "Oh it's yeah, this shit right here. I definitely gotta, I gotta put this <laughs> on the station." So that is definitely in rotation here at Hidden City Radio. So y'all make sure y'all tune in and so listen much. to that whenever y'all like because it's on the station so let's get started with some questions how about that yes ma'am all right cool so go ahead and introduce yourself because i call you jay yeah. but do you go by <laughs> basic like yeah. let the audience know uh well my real name is jeremiah boone but my artist name is basic with peers all in between capitalized um that originates from when i was in 12th grade I started out in a group called uh, Series 99, and um, I started thinking of better group names for, you know, the people around me and myself. And then 
slowly but surely, I started reading more about society and figuring out things for myself. And I, one day it just hit me. It was just like, be aware society is corrupt. And that's what BASIC stands for. Nice. <laughs> so, okay. I see you. You deep over there, young yeah. blood. <laughs> oh, all right. Us. Yeah. I put my, my music around my name because even the love songs and the hype songs I do, everything has a deeper message into it that I'm speaking. You know, so I try to get that out there into the world, something in my mind to imprint on everyone else, you know. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what inspired you to to make music? Um, when I was in middle school, I got into a whole lot of trouble. Okay. And at the time I didn't really have anything to like relieve stress, you know. And um my brother had a guitar that was handed to him by my grandfather. And uh he didn't, he played it for a little bit, but then he it just sat in the corner for a long time. Right, one right. Day I, and one, one day I just got into a lot of trouble, and I was crying, stressed out. You, know, <laughs> you, know, you was playing the blues because you knew your mom was coming home to bust that ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at the guitar, I didn't have nothing else. I grabbed it and just started playing it. I'm self-taught with the guitar and keyboard. So that's all where it started from was, and since that day when I wrote my first song called "This Time," I still play that till this, till this, like till this. Day. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, my mom loves that song, so. <laughs> okay, well, so was the song "This Time" inspired behind an ass whooping? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> In a way. <laughs> You definitely got to submit that, sum that song to me so I can put it in rotation at the stage. <laughs> yeah, so definitely when I get it uh, better, when I get it recorded better, get it some more, the quality of the song better, I'll definitely send it in. Oh, okay, wow, good deal. <laughs> I'll be waiting on that email right. for that track. <laughs> For sure, for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's good. So pretty much an ass whooping <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> inspired you to get on the right track. Yeah. You know, hey, we all got to learn a lesson and in, in how to move forward. Yeah. So um, how would you describe the music that you typically make? Is it um, R&B? Is it hip hop? What's see, the genre? See, and that's the thing. Trying to find to brand myself so I can branch out and actually have someone be able to market me, you know? Okay. Because that's, the music I make is typically, the music I want to make personally is on guitar and I sing, you know? But okay. right now I do hip hop and R&B and like a pop type of genre, all in like mixed or just like set on each versions, like the song uh, Lost. I would say that's more like in between hip hop and R and B. You know? Oh yeah. yeah, it got a little soul in it yeah. too. Cause when I heard, I was like, "Ooh, he's funky in there. I like that." Yeah. You know, I'm an old head at heart, so that's what took got me to tune into it. Yeah, so I would kind of say it's kind of in between those four genres, really. But okay. I would say my main go-to is guitar and singing, and which I would really want to do you know, at the end of the day. You know. Okay, so you yeah. you're not a rapper, you're a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can rap, you know. I, want to do I got you, I got you, I got you. So you like a vice versa of what Drake? Drake can sing, but he choose to rap. So now you wanna you can rap, but you wanna sing. Yeah. Either yeah, or, yeah. it sounds nice. Yeah. You doing you. your thing over there. Thank you. Thank so, um, what is your creative process like when you're writing your songs? Now, I know you said your first song. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since then, I've been through a lot. Um, okay. So I would say now that uh, what brings that creative nature out is kind of just me looking back on where I've been and where mm -hmm. I am now and kind of finding key points in my life where I've just made it, you know, where it seemed impossible, but for some reason, it just, everything turned out better than what it was, you know? Yeah. Um, I would say I would look in between those key points and try to find like metaphors to flip it and um like analogies to flip flip it in my mind so where i can put it on paper so people can understand you know 
uh, you do a damn good job because I understood every lyric. I was like, oh, this, this young boy deep. Yeah. Who is this? <laughs> Who you? I, like I said, you had me in my feelings. You had me feeling some kind of way. Your song is on repeat, on the low. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy listening to your talents and, and your music. It's really like a breath of fresh air. So my next question would be, who would you most like to collaborate with locally and celebrity wise? Um, locally, I have a few artists that I really want to um, collab with. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking like right off the top, uh, K Rich in my hometown. Okay, he's a dope artist, sings rap, does like pop stuff too. Really dope artist. Um, Tell Kel, uh, he does like pop, you know, he wants, I put him on some of my shows. I put both of them on some of the shows I host in my okay. hometown, really dope. Um, Shaman Wise, Guru, and they're all different, you know? Each, each of those artists are different. They have their own styles. Like some of them are hype, some of them are hype with singing to it. Some of them are just singing, some mm -hmm. of them are just like straight lyricism. You know, and those are some of like, the few people off the top that I would really love to like collab with in my hometown. Gotcha. But, uh, celebrity wise, I would say uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, J. Cole. I can see that. Um, maybe, maybe uh, Tory Lanez, maybe. Okay. Just out of like randomness. Yeah. <laughs> Just I got I you. His vocal range, I hear it in the studio, and I think in, in one of your songs. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, pretty much how you, how it goes down. Okay. Yeah. So remember, I told you I have family in Charleston, South Carolina. Well, let me not say Charleston. Let me say Somerville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me specify before I get beat yeah, up. That's all <laughs> yeah. So, um, have you ever heard of Ashkari Turf? Oh, yes. That's my yes. nephew. Oh, beautiful, man. That is my beautiful. legit nephew. <laughs> oh, my yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get him to do a show, but he has a baby on the way, and he got, you know, family things going on now, but we're going to have him on the show. I did ask him about you, though. I did my homework. I was just like, who is this guy right here? He's like, oh, he's an artist, artist. Yeah. Spoke highly of you. Yeah. So I, I do my homework on, on all <laughs> South Carolina artists that comes through. I asked my nephew, is this worthy? Yeah, go ahead and put that on. You know? <laughs> I actually put him on um, my very first show in Somerville. I put him on my first show. Uh, it was a good turnout. He's performed amazingly. He's coming back for the festival and everything. So wow, yeah, nice, yeah, really nice. Work, you know? Yeah, he keeps telling me, Auntie, Auntie, I, I'm a, I'm like a local celebrity around the hood. I was just like, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'd say out of out of out of all the local artists in Somerville, he's he's up there. He's the top. He really top shocked top me. Artist. As my nephew, he really shocked me. I was just like, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I didn't want to accept the fact that he's my nephew. Right. And he grew up. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just like, you know, he can't it's be little Beezy now. forever. Y'all know him as Ascari. I know him as Beezy. <laughs> so I completely understand. So um, that's awesome. I would definitely like to hear that track if you have yeah. that too. So, um. Let's go on so with some more questions here. Okay. Um, so, we're, we're going to play your tracks uh, during, this, during this show. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my last question before we play your tracks and let the audience chime in if they're listening yeah. out there. Alright? So, let's see. Um, hmm. If you can change anything about the industry, what would it be? If I could change anything about one thing I would change about the industry itself, like the whole industry as like a whole, mm -hmm. um, the amount of, I would say, I mean, this might sound weird, you know, to you, but I would say generosity. It doesn't sound weird at all. <laughs> 
because I have a big heart and I'm looking, you know, when I, you know, get where I am in my career one day, I'm looking to build something here for my community and actually help other artists and mm -hmm. anyone really who was trying to get up out of their city and do something, you know, mm -hmm. and then the amount of celebrities there are and the amount of money, I'm, you know, I'm not saying like, oh, they're rich, they can do whatever, you know, but right. I'm saying the amount of stuff that I say they put behind themselves you know which isn't a bad thing but what i would do personally and what i would change is the amount of i get back to my city you know and to get back to where i came from and try to help everyone out you know from where i came from i completely and, understand but don't let the city drain you yeah don't let the city no, drain yeah, you yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> so, <laughs> so moving right along let's go ahead and play loss this is the new one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, this new, is the new one. We're going to let y'all hear the new one. All right, y'all. We got Basic from Somerville, South Carolina. This is his new EP, Lost. I like it. I know y'all going to like it. I ain't going to lead y'all wrong. Y'all stay tuned. Keep it locked. <laughs> the studio and I didn't have anything written for it and but I played it from that part where sex will make you sleep tonight and I yeah. was spitting it and I didn't have anything I didn't have anything down for it I just straight 
freestyled off the top the whole last verse. And, uh, Dope. <laughs> and when I opened my eyes, I was like, yeah, I killed that. You did <laughs> kill like, that. Yeah. I was like, yo, who is this kid? <laughs> so every time I love it. it. It's just funny to me that I literally freestyled that last verse, and it's just like, yeah, that sounds like I just sit down and like wrote that. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely got to know what was the inspiration behind that track. Um, it was kind of mixed feelings in that track. It was a lot of mixed feelings actually. Um, mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say it was about a particular person. It was more of like relationships in a whole. Mm. You know? It was just kind of like, I'll make it better when I find you till then you're lost, you know? Preach, you church, know? <laughs> tabernacle. <laughs> so, I mean, none of my songs really are about like particular people. Okay. Because, you know, now it's this new song I'm about to drop, No Time, which I'm going to send to you, which is okay. an absolute banger. But All right. This one was more of just like a sense in a whole of like, like I couldn't find like that other significant other, you know, mm. in, a, in, a, in a sense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, like, I like the song. It was it was pretty dope when it came. Nice. Out. That sounds like my taste right there. That sounds like definitely my taste. Okay. So, um, which famous musicians do you admire the most? Um. I admire. Mm -hmm. I don't know about. Uh, okay, know okay, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with that. You can toot your own horn. Beep beep. No, no, I'll I toot it with you. Nah, no, cause I remember growing up, I really listened a lot of artists like that. I that would say if that comes close to like admiring would be uh, Kendrick Lamar, his Section Eighty. Okay. Tape, uh, J Cole's, uh, all of his tapes really. Um. That uh, uh, listening to Wu Tang, and um, okay, and uh, a little bit of like John Mayer. With, like, okay, I'm a John you know, Mayer fan. You know, I so, love like, me some John so, Mayer. It's, it's so scattered, you know, because I play guitar, I sing, like I listen yeah. to rap. You know, it's, it's everywhere, really. Yeah, but, my favorite song by John Mayer is actually Gravity. Oh yes, that is a beautiful song. Yeah. <laughs> I actually fell in love with John Mayer when I was in high school. I'm actually telling my age again. Um, <laughs> what was it? I want to run through the halls yeah. of the high school. Yeah. I want to scream at the top of my lungs. That was yeah. my song. <laughs> I just found out there's no such thing as the real world. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me grab my ukulele. I played the ukulele. <laughs> Jam session in here. <laughs> hey, we sure will. Now, listeners, if y'all watching, listening, y'all calling now, if y'all have any questions for Jay Boone, I'm still going to call him Jay Boone. <laughs> y'all can call him Basic, 470-588-1198, uh, or y'all can drop us a line on chat, say, hey, what's up, how you doing, let him know you're listening, that you support him, show him some love. He has been great, because we get ready to play the uh, previous latest track, I don't know how to say yeah. that in entertainment <laughs> business, but it's a hot banger. I know it's slap for the most part. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. So yeah, give a call. I got the phone lines open up. I got the chat line open. Let the man know you out there listening to him. Give him some questions. Because <laughs> we definitely going to keep him in rotation. Yes, yes, yes. So you don't have any musicians that you pretty much admire. Mm -hmm. So what is the best advice you've been given so far on your journey? Um, a recent friend of mine that, uh, that is no longer uh, with me, he, um, before, he, uh, before he passed away, he told me, and this is back when I had my own apartment, and um, I was doing music back then, but uh, I, did, I wasn't really focused how I am now. Um, mm -hmm. I was singing to him one day, because I told him I sung, you know, and I like do all this music stuff, and I was just, he was like, I don't believe you. 
you know and he was just saying that all the things just repeating that i don't believe you i don't believe you and i would always just tell him like yeah i do music you know i do and the one thing he told me was instead of talking about it show me mm. you know you know instead of me just being like hey i sing just start singing and show me that you sing you know nice. and he always was an action person you know and then that kind of transformed like transformed me into a little bit of the person i am today because i don't really do much talking when i want to do some music stuff or business stuff i, I just want right i just want it to happen and i can get it done you know i Good just deal. you know and that's probably one of the best advice the best advice i've been given so far that's stuck with me like till this day like to get up and do it even though it's been a long day you're tired everyone's tired you know yeah get up and do it you know yeah just that's how i feel about running this radio station and, yeah <laughs> you know I, and I definitely feel the stress behind that yeah <laughs> yeah so. wow well i'm pretty sure that you're making him proud i hope so <laughs> if no one has told you i'm proud of you you know especially being so young and to see your drive it's like i said it's a fr breath of fresh air so, so much. like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we got the phone lines open up. We're going to play this next track and we're going to let him go if you don't have no questions for him. But we're not going to let him go until we play this next track and get some <laughs> more questions on why he wrote it. Because <laughs> <laughs> this track for me, <sighs> like I told you, Jay, your music puts me in my feelings. Oh, no. It really puts me in my feelings. <laughs> You're like, so yeah, right we're going to play this this next track by Jeremiah Boone, a.k.a. Basic. It's called Let Go. Y'all yes. going to like it. Yes. Keep it locked right here with your girl Top Notch Butter Scott. Evil the young Leo, the internet station with no reservations. It's Hidden City Radio. my jam y'all please think of my love baby baby please baby please jay put the stick on this one Oh, 
Man, Jay. Yes. <laughs> Jay. So you like my music, man. <laughs> you the <a> truth. <laughs> Thank you. Jay, <laughs> you just don't understand. <laughs> that song right there just does something to me every time it comes on in my home studio. I'm just like, that's my. I turn into the drunk auntie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Jay, that's my nephew. <laughs> I really, really, really love that track because. Like, I, uh, I don't know if I told you, but for me, when I listen to music, I try to relate to the music that I'm listening to. Okay. And when I heard that track, I could relate to it so much. I was just like, man, yeah, <laughs> I felt sick. like I was the one singing a song to someone that I have the feelings for. Yeah. It looks like we have a caller. Let's see if we can get him on the line. Hold on. Hidden City Radio, who's this? Let's see. One second. We got a call on the line. Where am I? Hidden City Radio. Give us one second. We can't hear you. You're a little low. Give me one second to adjust that volume. Listen, are you there? Okay, go ahead and repeat your question. I'm sorry. Um, I'll let you ask the artist. Artist, did you hear the question? Nah. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear that question? Uh, I didn't. Okay. Was it too low? Let me try to adjust the volume over here on our end. Hold on. Listener, are you still there? Jay, can you hear our listener? No. All right. So the our listener wanted to know: Is there any other genre of music that you do besides rap? Is that correct, listener? That's what the our listener wants to know. Is there any other genre I do besides rap? Yep. Uh, yes, I sing and I play guitar. So I do like an indie type of style. Um, I do R&B, which is like more of the singing, like more rhythm into it, more of the singing. And then um, I do a little bit of pop music, too. Listener, were you able to hear Mr. Boone? Okay, so it's something going on on my end as to why he couldn't hear you. But we'll figure that out after the show. Is there any other question that you would like to ask Mr. Boone while we have him on the line? All right. Did you want to get his contact information on how to reach him? All right, Mr. Boone, go ahead and give him that contact information on how to reach you. Um, you can reach me on Instagram at JL dot Boone. That's B O O N E. I don't know. Can I give out my phone number? Is that reasonable? <laughs> I mean, if you want to get off your phone number, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> nah, Is that what you nah, want to do? No, 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 no. Let's do the Instagram. You can just reach out on Instagram. Our listener Damn. said that she will definitely reach out to you on Instagram. <laughs> we thank you so much for calling in, and we appreciate you for listening. You have a good night. All right. <laughs> I definitely got to figure out what's going on on why you couldn't hear our listen. I don't know if she was talking too low on the back end or what it was, but don't worry. I'll figure it out. Man. So <laughs> I just want to thank you, Mr. Boone, for taking his time out and yeah. introducing Thanks. your music to us. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> and for the questions and answers, I look forward to hearing your new single that you have coming out. Please yes. make sure you submit that to me ASAP. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. So it's been real. Again, let the listeners know where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at jl.boom. That's B-O-O-N-E on Instagram. My my music is basic, all capitalized with periods in between. It stands for Be Aware Society is Corrupt. All right. I, I'd like to thank you for having uh, the music um, putting me on, man. For real, it means a lot. Most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Like, my thing is... I want the world to hear the music that I listen to because I believe that the music on mainstream media is trash. I'm not trying to fade anybody out or nothing like that, but it's it's a better selection out there for everybody. So I just want to share that with the world, and I thank you for sharing that with the world. So um, we're going to let you go. Yes. And make sure you submit that new EP to me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Boone, you have a good one. You too. Thank you so All much. All right. Yes. Later. Peace. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all heard it here first on Hidden City Radio. Jay Boone hailing all the way from Somerville, South Carolina. Moving right along with our show. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I told y'all in the City Flow announcement that I'm going to be coming to y'all every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. Now, I'm not coming to y'all tomorrow because nobody booked tomorrow. So, I'm going to take the night off and get ready for Friday. On Friday, we're going to be talking with Miss Mo Nicole from Delaware about her new EP that dropped called Butters Baby. If you haven't heard that, it's available on all digital platforms. Make sure y'all go grab that because it's fire. When I say it, slap. If you watching the video while you can see my hand, it slaps. Oh, all right. All the tracks. So go get that. Or you could just tune in Friday, February 5th, 7 p.m. to meet her yourself. <laughs> So moving right along with the show, as I said before in the beginning, if you would like to be on the show, submit your inquiry to hiddencityradio at gmail.com, small bio about yourself, your business, or your music, and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible to schedule an interview. Pretty much I'm all booked up for the month of February, but I'll be reaching out to people for March. I already got somebody booked for March. Yeah, that's a secret surprise. And oh, when I tell y'all... The hitters that I got for the month of February, these some good, these some good people, y'all. So y'all going, y'all not gonna want to miss the shows now. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. Unless I tell you otherwise, and I'll make sure to let you know on a previous show if I'm gonna be on air or not. Oh, all right. So yeah, moving right along with our show. Y'all know I love me some Jasmine Sullivan. And y'all know good and well, I'm gonna play Jasmine Sullivan on this station. Because Jasmine is my girl. And if you haven't heard that new one by Jazz, I advise you, if you're around your children right now, send them to the basement, tell them to go play the PlayStation, Xbox, tell them to go find something to do. Because this ain't nothing for their ears to hear right here. This one right here up next is Jasmine Sullivan featuring Ari Lennox on it. Ooh, it's so nasty. <laughs> Mr. Straw <laughs> What's up y'all Hey 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 You are late Miss Williams That's alright you tuned in though
going on Facebook what's going on what's going on drop me a line let me know how I'm doing say hello let me know you enjoying the show it's your girl top notch butterscotch <laughs> right here on hidden city radio <laughs> something when I be listening to this music I get all in a mood it's like a whole vibe for me I just be singing to the love of my life I know who it is but they don't love me no more I be feeling like Yvette from uh boys uh not boys in the hoods wrong movie wrong classic hit from baby boy you don't love me no more <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen I want to thank y'all for tuning in with me you heard it here first with Mr. J. Boone. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. Available on all platforms, digital platforms. And um, yeah, the time is now 7.48. <laughs> if you don't have anything to say, I'm going to be on my way. It's your girl Top Notch Butterscotch. I just want to thank y'all for keeping it locked here with me. Um, remember, keep it real rap and raw. So they can't call you flaw. I'm your girl, Top Notch Butterscotch. I see you when I see you. Peace. <laughs> Let her ride.